Hey, all you gormless motherfuckers, welcome to the second monthly Trouble Planet podcast. We're here to talk about, well, this is our industry podcast, so we have to just talk about the progress, the leaps and bounds that Trouble Planet has made since last month, how great our enterprise is doing. So in other words, we're in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, how how in the hole? Well, since we uh, we started this whole idea of like, oh man, we should make a Patreon. Look at look at this uh, look at this example, this fine example that is called the Dick Show. And he at the time he was making <laughs> seventeen thousand dollars a month. Now he's up to twenty thousand dollars a month. We're like, oh my god, people are just they're just wanting to throw their money at, away at this kind of stuff. So we're like, okay, how about how about we do that? Motherfucker's pulling in the the base pay of an O four general. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, okay, let's just just do that. So uh, you know, we started to do all that stuff, and uh, we are at uh, three Patreon. Ten, and we love you guys. Yo, dude, ten dollars a month is exactly ten dollars more than we were ever getting. I mean, it's it's actually really cool that uh, we're getting paid to do that. A, even a lot, yeah. But how much are we getting? How much have we ever gotten from YouTube? Like hitherto, what's the YouTube ad revenue at? Uh, so far, to make any money from YouTube, you have to break at least one hundred and ten dollars. Oh. We are at a grand total of thirty six. Motherfucker, I could make more <laughs> doing Uber tonight. Oh yeah, well, dude. Hey, yes, so very, very easily. <laughs> that's a uh, <laughs> because that's below minimum wage, and it's still better than anything else I can bring to the yeah, table. Because, oh, God. because even at thirty six dollars, they still have to give that to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. Like, wouldn't that be shitty if like any every job was like that? It's like, well, uh, you did work forty hours this week, but I'm only paying you five sixty. Yeah. So uh, you didn't make enough for me to pay you. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure that's coming <laughs> Yeah, out. exactly. And then uh, a, a big hefty man in a nice pinstripe suit and with a cigar rolling out of his mouth says, thanks for all the ad dollars, sucker, and literally kicks you in the chest out the <laughs> oh. door. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little more extreme than I was thinking, but yeah. I was saying he's going to put the cigarette out on your forehead. <laughs> this imaginary guy... I imagine he was gonna like chuckle like the penguin, like uh, Danny DeVito's penguin. He's gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks and he lot, bites your friend. nose off. <laughs> 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 uh, yep. So yeah, I can't say we wouldn't have that coming. So Keith, you mentioned uh, that you you uh, started doing Uber. So uh, I actually had been starting doing Uber as well. And I kind of uh, put you onto this. No, yeah, you so, invited uh, me, and I got I got you more money than I got before they fucking axed me. <laughs> So, speaking as a guy who can't even get a YouTube video to get more than 300 clicks and is emphatically unqualified for a real career, I, of course, turned my fell gaze to Uber after you specifically invited me to do it. Because I was 100% yeah, yeah. sure my car wasn't going to make the grade. I was thinking of Lyft. Lyft is the one with standards. <laughs> you know, I saw, I seen your car and, like, uh, I I don't know why I thought, like, I would try to invite you. Actually, it's, like, because I saw that, like, if you invite friends, you can get free money. Yeah, that's, so I was I, just I, like, that's why. Because you thought you'd you get free Scrooge money. You got Scrooge McDuck dollar signs in your eyes. And just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no. Sin, sin, sin. Because sin. Your, your pyramid scheme instincts went into overdrive. You, <laughs> you yeah. Ponzi motherfucker. Your, un- yeah, that, your, I mean, your total willingness to ruin your friend and family's lives for your own personal gain. <laughs> the Ponzi gene. Yeah, you know. Made it an so, easy yeah, yeah. call. So yeah, I, I, I invited you to do it. And like not thinking that you would get uh, accepted at all, mm-hmm. having seen your car, and then uh, it's not a bad car. It's just not a good car. A piece of shit. No, yeah. it's fine. Like, what's it's your, okay. What's your car look like? It's just a Toyota Corolla. It's a very average, run of the mill. It just happens to be seventeen years old. <laughs> which yeah, exactly. Which is exactly a problem with their guidelines. No, here's no, the no. Thing. That's what's that, so I've funny. gotten compliments yeah, go from drunken biddies about that. People are impressed. Drunk women love the fact that there's crank. Windows. Oh my god! <laughs> and a uh, and an audio they're cassette probably... player. I'm so glad they're... you don't have child locks to keep me in this car, <laughs> Keith. You know why they're so impressed? Because they're probably born in 1990 fucking five and don't remember cars without electric windows. They have never seen analog anything on or, a car, or if they <laughs> like, do, it's from r- way back in their life. So it's like a nice little m- nostalgia trip. You know what I mean? Like they they look at your radio and go, "What's that hole in the center of it?" And then you go, <laughs> "A CD player." Yeah. And they go, "A what?" No, not even, motherfucker. It's a cassette player. I have a Oh um, shit. I have a, you put a tape in there. I have a <laughs> I have one of those tape uh to uh aux adapter thingies that lets you plug yeah. in iPods and shit, but they like, right. do still sell those things. Yeah. Do they really? Today in an era where you can even more cheaply buy a Bluetooth dongle that just clips right into your uh aux cord, you know, granted it is for cars that have those, but right. <laughs> 
Like even more cheaply, you can get this thing that will click right into a headphone jack on your car. And instead, we still sell fucking cassette uh, adapters that cost like $20. Because not everyone has an aux. Some of those old cars. And I want this car to live as long as possible. You know why? Because <laughs> I don't give a shit about the CIA can take over your car thing that people are talking about. If they, <laughs> if they take the wheel, I trust them. If they decide it's time for me to plunge into the icy depths, fine. That's <laughs> good that's, call. They're probably making the right call there. You know what? Fine. <laughs> there's some I, reasoning behind that, maybe. There's that's our tax dollars at work. <laughs> and if I'm in the middle of Ubering some uh, belligerent ingrate bariatric who's leaving crumbs on my back seat and taking up half my car while doing a fucking carpool, then more the better. We'll sink faster. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like I've seen how government work moves along and if they actually got the clearance to uh electronically jerk your wheel you know <laughs> off into a ravine then there was a fucking committee of people who had to sign an awful lot of fucking paperwork to make yeah. that happen and so they, that, they knew what they were be, doing yeah guy, people you have to be with careers important. and qualification and if they think if that many important people gets in a room somewhere in our nation's capital and decides that i'm worth getting rid of then they must know what they're talking about <laughs> I must have really fucked up. I must so, have yeah. just fucked up. So anyway, Keith, tell us, tell us your like what happened uh, with all right. uh, the Uber thing. Well, speaking of which, uh, uh, given that I just agreed with everything Nick just said, I'm going to go ahead and contradict that 100 percent because the government fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, the incompetent, cross-eyed, uh, many-thumbed brigand shitheads at the state government went and asked up my background check for me when. Uh, well, this is the interesting thing. So, uh, like, when you sign up for Uber, when I filled out the profile, there's, like, a little probation period where it's, like, we're doing a background check on you. And then they give you an email saying, okay, we're all done. You're good to drive now. Go go pick up strangers and make some ducats, right? So that happened. And then for, like, two weeks, for two magical weeks, I was driving all around the North Shore area, dropping people off, pulling in ducats. And I even made enough trips in enough time that Kyle got $400 deposited directly into his open and pliant bank account for I'm, doing nothing yeah, for all doing i nothing. did was i said hey hey keith uh if you get 50 rides uh you make some extra money you yep. should probably do that and I then boom boom uh, all you did was 400 dollars on uber so for two weeks i did that i was doing great it made everyone money helped the economy uh kept a man uh from being homeless you know what i mean i contributed <laughs> i reduced the homeless pro the homeless veteran problem i directly fought the homeless veteran problem and improved the economy and 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 helped shore up Trump's America. You know what I mean? <laughs> Patriot. Five right. five kinds. And then I log in, I go to get my car washed because now I'm a responsible business guy. And then I log into the app and it tells me to fuck myself. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> well this seems inconsistent as a reward for my many weeks of high service. And I go Wait, and Keith. What didn't didn't previously to that before like getting your car washed didn't you go get your car uh, fixed? Yes. Oh yeah, I went. Uh, I had to get a new suspension because like when I drove, every time I hit a bump, it went like ah, 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 and sounded like a spring mattress. It was just it wasn't <laughs> absorbing any shock whatsoever. It was horrible and it just rattled like fuck. So I went and dropped a solid jeezel on getting a new front suspension and sway bar in this car, which I figured is a write off. It's a business investment at this point. I can pay it off by driving on the new suspension, which will make it easier to drive. Sound logic. Right. So uh, within that same two-week period, I log in, as I do every day, and a big graphically detailed, well-rendered, lovingly crafted middle finger comes up on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, hmm, a mystery afoot indeed. And I return to my lair where I look into it and find out that they bump back my background check because, and it's confusing because right there in the email it says, reason, driver has not had a license for one year or more. In parentheses, issue date, like April 9th, 2006. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I am no numerologist, but <laughs> I think 2006 
necessitates much more than one year. <laughs> maybe they Although met. Although it's felt like centuries. Maybe they met you had to have the license for only one year. Like, exactly. And <laughs> 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 within it's that like... brief, like, blue moon window, <laughs> you my, can drive a car. <laughs> my license Some... is so old <laughs> that, that, like, it remembers when The Simpsons was still a little bit funny. And the X Files <laughs> was still topical, and Malcolm in the Middle was still on. That's my frame of reference. How good we, at the TV that point in time, people were still remembered nine eleven and talked about it. The Venture Brothers wasn't in HD was. yet, <laughs> you know. Right. So for several days, I'm like, well, I have a one thousand dollar credit card bill and no income, <laughs> and I just <laughs> I spent my first paycheck on a dental cleaning. So. Come the end of this month, I better have some income or I'm straight diddled. And the only people I had to commiserate with were some weirdos we met on Overwatch. <laughs> Those the only yeah. people I talked to besides Kyle anymore. So, Which Uber <laughs> and Overwatch are the only two things these motherfuckers talk about anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, <laughs> They're our whole I, life. I can just imagine. You guys have imagine. joined the rest of my Facebook experience in, in <laughs> like the purgatory that I no longer check. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't ever talk about politics or the immigration ban or any shit like that. No, but it's yet. just as uninteresting to me. So <laughs> Hey, hey, wait a minute. No, I, I, Whose fault I can't is that? Blame you you don't next... own a next-gen system and you threw out your computer. Well, my computer is not whole, nor am I. <laughs> I, I can't blame you because it's... It's like I literally like almost every single conversation is like, hey, uh, this video is coming out, and then Keith goes... My ass! We should play Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> I I interject tactfully <laughs> and say, Fuck "Pardon me, gentlemen. About. My I ass. Get, I want to get on Overwatch right now." <laughs> yeah, Pretty we should much. just get a soundboard for me so I can work remotely. We won't have to drive. <laughs> we won't have to go out to do recording sessions anymore. We can just have you know. You guys are playing. What do you think about this, Keith? My ass. Let's play Overwatch. I want to be Reaper. <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> let me let me tell you, ooh, this this is this is ideal because actually, have you got on your Uber, have you got compliments yet? Yeah, I've okay. gotten three great conversation compliments. Oh, I've only had one and I've had a few other, but have you gotten any of the opposite of those? Like the little <laughs> complaints? They don't call them complaints, but the little like dings that come up. Notes. Like, yeah, no. Fuck ups. They have they have they No, have, I've not. They have like a neutral term. Okay, I got one for professionalism and I know why. Because <laughs> I picked up somebody, um, and like on the radio, what happened to still be playing was the Dick Show. <laughs> oh no! And it was awesome. It was pretty funny because I like I completely forgot about it. But like, no, they're they're actually talking about uh, something, and then abruptly it shifted into one of the erotic stories. <laughs> That's what they do. Um, <laughs> I didn't like. I was like, "Oops! I better turn the volume gun down because I can't fuck with it to change it to another station." So now we have to ride in tense silence for a while. Whoop de doodle. Oh well, right. I'm sure. I'm sure somewhere Dick would be smiling. Oh Maybe yeah. Hey Keith, have you had any um, terrible customers? Like speaking of like uh, reviews. Yes. <laughs> I had some fucking like people who didn't speak any English, and this mm-hmm. goddamn kid would not put on her fucking seatbelt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Some, you had a good had solution to that. Yeah, I had to turn around and I'm like, uh, can can you put on your seatbelt? And then they're like, what? What's that? And I'm like, uh, seatbelt. And then they're like, they like whisper to each other in like Spanish. They're just like, what's that? And then they look at me and they go, uh, no. <laughs> I'm like, it's not a question, bitch. This is I'm telling you, put on your fucking seatbelt. <laughs> Kyle's so first I pulled it. note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I pulled on my seatbelt. I'm like, seatbelt. And then they like they kind of looked at me and shrugged. And then eventually like. Uh, they said like uh, twelve sentences in Spanish at me, and then like seemed it seemed to make her put the seatbelt on. So I was like, okay, great, I'm because I'm about to go on the highway. I'm about to be driving seventy miles an hour, and I don't. I mean, I wouldn't mind if we got in an <laughs> accident, and then like life was. Well, over. I don't want to have to clean the inside of the car. I'm about to right. death proof this motherfucker. Yeah, because <laughs> I swear to God, check this out. I I had so my GPS is mounted in front of me and this little girl is like leaning over like between me like both the front seats just leaning in uh. and I'm like I'm just like feeling super uncomfortable because I'm like there nobody needs to be this close to me when I'm driving like nobody needs to be this close yeah. and so I eventually get her to put her seatbelt on for uh, two minutes I think uh, before I hear it uncut like unclick so as soon as I hear that I'm like I am going to find a way 
to slam on my brakes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when we came off the highway, they were coming off hot because it's like 70 miles an hour to like yep. a stoplight. So uh, To a 30 uh, mile an hour exit. Yeah, so I get down to the end of it and I basically slam on my brakes. And I don't know if it was the child, but something went... <laughs> It just hit the back of the seat. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and then uh, I hear uh, I thought they had a baby, like holding a baby or something, because I just started hearing like really like low wheezings, like wheezing noises. <laughs> so Jesus, yeah, it was, like, <laughs> it was just like it was just like. <laughs> so like, you know, broken happening. child ribs punctured yeah, that lungs fucking, <laughs> that fucking noise you make when we get on the chat channel in Overwatch instead of just asking me if I'm there like a normal human <laughs> yeah. yeah so eventually I get it's not fair that you didn't get a note and I've had notes for safety what the hell just cause I almost ran through one red light <laughs> <laughs> look man Boston's a steep goddamn learning curve. Oh, I've also had uh, notes for navigation, but that's to be expected because I'm in the fucking Northeast. Yeah.